Hi everyone! Ad network protection systems make lives of pups harder, stimulating the search and development of new ways to bypass the restrictions. The more advanced the protection system is, the more advanced the tool we need to bypass it. Here's a step-by-step -step instruction to driving to COD neutral from Facebook using just a tool that combines service for cloaking, tracker and white page generator, which is called Adspect AI. Welcome to the Dr. Cash channel. Let's go! Before we move on to the customization itself, I'll tell more about this tool. First of all, of course, it's a cloud service for cloaking with more than 2.3 billion IPv4 addresses and more than 19,000 IPv6 ranges. It should be noted that their blacklist of IP addresses include 12 competing services, including this. Moreover, for identification, Adspect AI uses also machine fingerprints as well as TCP IP and SSL TLS analysis technology. In human terms, this means that the platform can easily calculate scams, bots and even advanced bots, moderators, resident and mobile proxies. But the best part, in my opinion, are these two technologies. VLA is a proprietary machine learning technology that analyzes various technical attributes of visitors by scanning thousands of facts about each click. It means that the system identifies suspicious repetitive sequences and as a result dangerous clicks. Even if some threat managed to bypass the filters, it will still be noticed and blocked. Well, HyperLogLog is also a proprietary algorithm that processes the accumulated statistics of billions of clicks without delay and as a result can accurately distinguish moderators from a target audience. It sounds like Facebook's algorithms have been made to work for us, but Adspect goes beyond that. It also has a built-in tracker, which will allow you to avoid using third-party trackers in most cases. If you are a user of Binum Tracker, you have an opportunity to use the integrated version of Adspect AI with all the consequences. Increased speed of click processing and absence of moving data outside its own server. And the real cherry on the cake is the presence of a built-in white page generator from Comsign.io. This is quite an interesting feature. Here you can create white pages based on WordPress. And since there are a lot of sites on it, the code of our white pages will be similar to hundreds of thousands of real sites. Another thing, the built-in generator allows you to create landing pages for real apps from App Store or Play Market. In other words, to promote an offer, we can use a white page to suit existing one, which obviously passed moderation of the app that corresponds to the theme of our offer. At the moment, here we also have a web scraper, meaning we can specify a link to a page and get its copy. To sum up, Adspect with an integrated generator from Comsign can be called a ready-made solution for affiliate marketing the one without bands. So, after registration to work, we need to choose a plan – anti-fraud or cloaking – the one we are interested in. A little bit below are the options with the choice of a generator of white. We can choose not to use it or choose one of the subscription options. Basic plan offers us 200 downloads and then $1.7 per landing and Pro offers 500 downloads then $1.2 per landing as well as a possibility of automation and integration with the help of API. Just below you can choose the subscription term. As you can see, there is a discount and its size depends on the subscription term. By the way, with our promo code you will get 15% discount on any plan and subscription term. 
After choosing and paying for a plan, we can get to work. But before that, let's run through the interface. Paragraph reporting. It actually represents the interface of the built-in tracker. In the paragraph streams, we will customize a cloaking. Generator is a generator of whites. Subscription is information about subscription. Everything is clear. The next paragraph deserves special attention. Documentation. I would honestly call it a knowledge base academy or manual because this is where practically every paragraph on the site, any that you I might catch is explained. What, how, why and what for. All questions can be answered here. For example, the paragraph playbook. There are one by one listed step by step instructions for the most common tasks. And here is another paragraph, tips and tricks. But I will leave it to you to explore on your own because you can get to the documentation without registration. Now we will show you how we set up a clocking for Facebook Fit. As an example, we used the Morning Slim Free offer. This is an exclusive free private offer. We haven't had this for Slovakia yet, so if you watch this video as one of the first, you should write to your managers to cherry pick. The campaign was created with API because in the future we will run an advertising campaign for conversions and for this we'll have to make changes in the code of landings. For the test we have chosen two landing pages, these and that. There are two different approaches. The first one is for sale and the second one is pre-landing landing page where there is a lot of text before after photos and at the end a roulette. After which the user is offered to buy the product with a 100% discount. Payout offer $18. So we have created a campaign. Next, we download landing pages and uploaded them to the hosting in the folders prepared in advance. After that, we have to prepare a white page and the index.php file, which we put into the final version of our page. For this purpose, we create a special stream in AdSpect. By the way, when creating a stream, we choose a traffic source from this list and depending on which source you choose, optimal settings will be set for it by default. This is how our stream looks like. The name is given in a convenient way for us, for quick orientation among many streams. The same is true for tags. Then there are four modes and here's what you need to know about them. The first mode – filter. In it, in real time, filtering good visitors from dangerous ones runs. All the features that I have mentioned work here. The next mode – review – should be activated when the ad is being moderated. In this case, all will be shown a white page. Further in the settings, there is a paragraph, thanks to which all IP addresses in the review mode will be entered into the blacklist. So be careful and don't get Caught. Then comes the mode money. The link always opens the main content, i.e. a money page. And then safe mode comes here. It's the same. When you click, all get to the white page. The last two modes are handy for checking the availability of white and black pages. Also, AdSpect recommends that we switch to safe mode when campaigns are stopped, as the moderation systems of many ad networks work even after campaigns are stopped. The documentation, by the way, has a special section with recommendations for launches and customization. Now we have the filter mode activated, but we switch to it only after the campaign passed moderation. During the moderation, the review mode should be active. Next is the notes field, purely for us. And in the field below, we specify our links to landing pages. As for the action, different situations have their own options for what should be selected. In order to determine which option to use for you personally, you can read the documentation or write to support. In our case, we chose display in iframe because we used our own domain and hosting. Now look, we have two options to configure split testing – split and timer. Split is to distribute traffic proportionally to the weights. 
that is to ensure that our landing pages get the same number of clicks, here we have specified 50% and 50%. If there is a need, you can set any other ratio of displays. In the timer mode, landing pages change each other by time. In the wait field, one in this case means one second. In our case, we have chosen split. Next, we specify the directory when we plan to place our white page. We chose the action similarly to the previous pages. In the next item, you can customize filtration. Each item is described here enough to understand what to do. If there is no understanding of which one to choose, it's recommended to choose high. In our case, we choose medium. Just below, we leave all the checkboxes activated. We don't touch required touchscreen support as the campaign was launched for both mobile and desktop. In the targeting paragraph, we select only the country. The rest of the paragraphs can be filled in if there are instructions from an advertiser or if there is already some data after the tests to narrow the targeting. At this step, all our customization is finished, but let's run through the rest of the paragraphs. Next, if we use the filter mode, we can configure the delayed start. That is, set the number of first visitors that will be directed to the white page by selecting one of the three modes. For example, if we have chosen 20 first transitions to be sent to white page, then in the all mode, the first 20 transitions will be counted. In the money mode, only those users will be counted, who after filtering the traffic would go to our black page. And in safe mode, only non-targeted transitions that are blocked by one of the other filters will be counted. This paragraph is recommended for use when it's difficult to keep track of and manually switch modes of multiple streams. In the next menu paragraph, you can additionally configure filtering by IP addresses. Next are the URL settings. Here you can configure parameters for the built-in tracker. A little lower, you can configure rules for checking and changing URL parameters. In the schedule paragraph, it's possible to specify time intervals when filtering will be turned off and visitors will be blocked. Next, we see lists for filtering by user agent. And at the very bottom, referrer filters. Note that all sorts of detailed and additional settings should be done only if you are sure of what you are doing. After we clicked Create Stream, a menu like this opens up. This is where we downloaded the index.php file and proceeded to create the white page. Note, we do this via a button on the main panel of the site so that it wouldn't automatically be set to integrate into our cloaking. Here we set the topic, select the tool, language, add a keyword. We don't choose a stream for integration to get a separate, independent white page. If after clicking the Generate button we're satisfied with the result, download the result. In our case, the white page turned out like this. After we have downloaded the files, upload and unpack them in pre-prepared folders. Next, you can go back to Adspect AI and check how, for example, splitting works by changing the modes of cloaking or whether our lens are displayed as intended. After that, we move on to setting up and launching the campaign. In the previous video, we showed you how to drive to white offers, how to link credit cards and separately talked about how to warm up accounts. So now we'll skip this stage. Go to the advertising cabinet, create a new campaign. First, to warm up, the launch was for clicks. Here we leave everything by default and change the targeting to Slovakia. We are to change the placements manually. Change to the original audience settings. Select age 22 to 55. 
and only women. That's it. Next we move to a creative. Then upload our file. This is what it looked like. We didn't make a separate format for the stories. Write a headline. The text of the ad isn't used in this case because the text is on the creative. Then we write the address. Check how our cloaking works. As you can see, it shows the white page. Then we publish our ad. After that, we make two copies to be able to optimize the campaign further according to ad sets. Once our campaigns were approved, we switched the mode from Review to Filter. After that, the target audience started to get to our black page. After a few days, as you can see, more than 700 clicks were made. Since then, we tested two creatives, one of them is on the screen now. Filtering has been working steadily all this time. After that, we created an advertising campaign with the goal Leads. Note that we used a dynamic pixel and its ID in the URL of the money page in AdSpect. You can learn how to set up dynamic pixel in our special video instruction. So we created a campaign and set the targeting settings. Then we moved on to creating ads. This creative, by the way, gave the most leads in the campaign for clicks. Then we duplicated the ad set and created a second ad with a second creative. In the campaign for clicks, it showed a good price per click. After we set everything up in the ads cabinet, we moved on to updating the stream in AdSpect. As you can see from the split tests, we left one landing page and added the pixel ID to the URL. Note that we add the pixel exactly to the AdSpect stream, but we don't add it to the link in the ad, because in our case landing pages are displayed in iframe. The next day the situation was. The campaign was successful, the first lead came, but one ad was rejected and we filled an appeal. This creative passed. Here's what we had after two days. Both creatives captured leads, but in the click campaign, strangely enough, they were cheaper. As you can see, for the whole period, $236 were spent and together with the consumables we get $250. And here are the overall statistics. In total, $414 was earned, 23 leads were approved, 43 are on hold. Approval rate is 17%, while the average for the offer is 15%. The low approve percentage is due to the free type of the offer. It works like this. A user leaves a request for a free product on the website and the manager on the phone already explains that this is a 2 plus 1 promotion where if you buy two goods, the third is given as a gift. Sleight of hand, tricks and no fraud. Therefore, when planning the budget, you should take into account that in order for the ROI to be positive, the cost of a lead should be no more than $2.50. In our case, the ROI was 65% and this is without taking into account the potential leads released from the halt. $414 total profit subtract $250 invested and the net profit at the time of recording the video was $164 in 6 days. As for cloaking and filtering, AdSpect has really proved itself as a ready-made and reliable solution that makes it easy to work with large networks. On that note, this video is coming to an end. Write your questions in the comments and thank you for watching. I hope this was interesting and useful for you. Stay tuned, hit the like button and may high ROI be with you.